So I uploaded this video in 2017. From that time till now, a lot of things are changed. At that time, I never used to record my face. I used to do a voiceover and do a little bit of animation and, you know, used to upload the videos on YouTube. All of them are private now. But uh, not only that, my voice changed from this. From having a personal identity till developing a business, internet help. To this. Now, I know I still sound weird, especially over the phone, but you can say that from sounding a robot to at least a human now, I am okay. So yeah, that is, that is a huge improvement for me. But th that was about me. What about platforms? So these platforms have evolved a lot. I mean, really, these platforms have improved a lot. Blogger improved their UI, WordPress have introduced Gutenberg, Wix changed the pricing and took a big leap and yes, Weebly was acquired by Square. But don't forget to watch the video till the end because I have two bonus platforms which can replace one platform in the list. So don't forget to watch it till the end. So let's dive into the ultimate comparison between all these four platforms, Blogger, WordPress, Wix and Weebly. So let us first talk about Blogger. So when I was first exploring the blogging industry, I also started with Blogger. It's very amazing platform. You can say for free, you can do bunch of things like uh, I cannot imagine any other company other than Google can do this because yeah, uh, since it's Google, they were able to give this platform for free and uh, you can install third party themes. You can connect your domain. You can install SSL, uh, which Google itself provides you. And uh, not only that, it also gives you a HTML editor and uh, you can optimize your CSS etc there it's fast and you don't get any ads like imagine it's like realme uh, other platforms uh, in the list are like realme and Xiaomi etc and this platform is like Motorola or pixel like uh, it's for free and uh, you don't actually get any ads anything which is uh, gonna help your user also for a best experience but when I talk about the benefits I must also say they have few downsides of blogger like you cannot scale it to highest level so for example let's say you want to build an e-commerce store then that will not be possible using blogger so keep in mind blogger is for people who are just starting exploring digital marketing or also for people who are you know studying and want uh, a blog or something for the college project or want a journal to record the journey then it's very good because it's for free they don't have to invest anything yeah i would say if you want a good looking layout go to etsy etsy.com and there you can get the layouts for five dollars or something this is not sponsored by them you can get very simple looking layouts and the experience will be very good. So I tried platforms like Goyabi and uh, other free templates platforms. But uh, the problem is they have very much, you know, hard coded and they have too much of code, which is even not necessary. If you want a, a flashy website, go for other platforms in the list. Why would you go for blogger, right? When it comes to WordPress, WordPress is an uncrowned king, as you all know, like uh, if you want to build a highly scalable website, you want to build a small website, you want to build a website for a company, photography, if you are an artist, if you, you know, want to build an e-commerce store, anything is possible with WordPress. So WordPress, I can say is an uncrowned king in the list also. So spoiler alert. WordPress is the winner, but I am pretty sure you are not uh, here for that. So you want to actually understand what are the possibilities with other platforms. So I will just tell you, see, WordPress is very scalable for sure. Okay. So you can basically now here we are talking about WordPress.org. So if you don't know, just go and check out in the cards above. So I made a video and in that I have clearly explained what is the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Okay. So so when it comes to wordpress.org what is happening is you have full control over the platform so now you can install wordpress.org on your own server you can buy it from a server provider like dreamhost you can connect your domain and uh, you can have a seamless experience you can install security ssl everything whatever you want and thanks to third party themes and plugins you can do customization however you want like if you want to 
to build an e-commerce store, install plugin like WooCommerce. If you want to do SEO, Yoast SEO or Rank Math or some other plugin. Such sort of customization ability you cannot see on any other platform in the list. That is the USP of uh, WordPress. So basically, whenever you are uh, looking for a website which must be scalable over time, WordPress is for you. Coming to the downsides of WordPress, I personally don't think there is any disadvantage of using it. But yeah, if you are a newbie, you may not be able to spend $50 or $100 for hosting and you may not be able to, you know, buy a theme again for worth 50 to 100 dollars again so that kind uh, that kind of affair may sound expensive to you but if you can do it then please go for wordpress over blogger because blogger is free and it is good but uh, when it comes to wordpress it gives you that scalability you can sell you can do whatever you want you can make online courses anything so that kind of scalability wordpress gives so i must recommend you wordpress if you are going for scale Availability. The third platform in my list is Wix. Now Wix is a really amazing platform. I'm pretty sure you might have come across their ads and they have bombarded people with their ads. But when it comes to Wix, uh, you can see the drag and drop experience what they give. I know you can do that in WordPress by installing Elementor or themes like Divi and uh, you can almost get similar experience. But Wix, you know, have that USP. I can still say that WordPress uh, in terms of drag and drop builder, it's uh, you can do that. but. Wix you know takes the leap here because Wix have that kind of customization which even WordPress uh, will take some time obviously plugin developers are working but uh, yes in terms of you know customization options uh, in design Wix definitely takes a leap not only that so if you don't want to spend any amount of money you are like I want to do the cheapest way I am not okay for free platform because that is a limited platform. I can spend some amount of money, then go for Wix. Don't go for the Wix free plan because it's useless. <laughs> Yeah, it's useless because uh, you will get ads uh, and you will get a subdomain .wix.com which I don't think is professional also and I don't recommend you to go for that because if you are doing something, do it properly, right? Uh, so what you have to do is basically if you want to build a website on Wix, you just have to pay less than 5 or less than $10 in India. Like they have changed the pricing and they have made a huge leap. So that is basically, you know, giving an advantage uh, over other platforms in the list because if you want to build a portfolio website, you are an artist or you are a photographer or you are a, just a car showroom, let's say you just want to showcase your cars, why not build a website on Wix because you will not do anything else apart from just a showcase, right? When it comes to downsides of Wix, I must say it's not that highly scalable. So if you want to build a highly scalable platform or highly scalable website, then I must suggest you WordPress because uh, in Wix, again, you're going to get limited some or the other way. So I would recommend you to go for Wix uh, and only premium plan, uh, not the free plan. And if you are in other countries, I'm not sure what I should recommend you because uh, then you should go for definitely WordPress, not for Wix. But if you are in India, 350 rupees or something you just spend and get a free domain and uh, you get a free domain you get designs do whatever you want right so it's simple platform not for blogging again you can do blogging on wix not a doubt but uh, if you are want to be a serious blogger i would suggest wordpress but if you are okay with just design and all you just want something simple wix is best the last platform in the list is weebly now when it comes to weebly i must say that uh, when when it started I am pretty sure uh, you guys might have seen the ads when they have started and uh, they promoted themselves as the best solution you can build uh, on a mobile phone app the whole website which is fully functional and a lot of small businesses started using it but after getting acquired by Square I must say that the platform became little weird so they shifted to more of e-commerce so now if uh, when it comes to e-commerce I don't believe that that good 
obviously they have the support of square but again compared to other platforms in the list they are not that good uh, especially wordpress and uh, if you are, are looking to spend that kind of money which weebly is charging why not go for wordpress or why not go for the other two platforms which i am going to tell you about thanks for sticking till now to the video so basically the other two platforms what i was recommending is one is shopify which you can use for e-commerce if you want to spend money like weebly i, I know it's compared to weebly it's still expensive but uh, it's scalable so shopify you can do drop shipping you can do bunch of things with that and uh, it have lot of integration compared to weebly so if you want to build an e-commerce store go for woocommerce or go for shopify not weebly so the other bonus platform which i want to tell you about is squarespace now squarespace is also an amazing platform and uh, to build a portfolio website i feel squarespace is better they also have e-commerce but again for e-commerce don't choose squarespace or don't choose weebly better go for woocommerce or shopify but if you want to build a portfolio website and you want something really premium or aesthetically more appealing then i believe squarespace is a good place than weebly but uh, you you can all also look for you know uh, wix uh, because i feel it's just uh, less than 10 dollars you get your free domain and uh, you get everything so why why to spend some that kind of amount of money on building a portfolio website so that is it for today guys i hope you like the video and uh, let me know in the comments below what do you understood about the platforms if you have any queries mail me or comment down i will definitely resolve them and don't forget to make that red subscribe button gray and hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications of my latest videos and yes it's your boy farhan signing off thank you